Hey! All right, guys, welcome back. You're still tuned in to The Lowdown. Now, Mike, we got a special guest in the building today because it's Valentine's Day. And you know as well as me, Valentine's is all about setting the mood and the tone. Yeah. And this next gentleman, that's exactly what he does because he's a TV and film composer. Y'all give it up for my man, Rob Diggy. Yes. 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 What's yes. up, man? What's up, man? How you feel, baby? Man, I can't complain at all, sir. Thank yes. you for being here today. How you feel? Thank you. Feeling pretty darn good in the word of Deion Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Deion, man. Now, I know you must be feeling good, man, because I'm looking at your setup, sir, and I notice a few a few uh, awards back uh, behind you there, sir. So you must be feeling pretty darn good. Yes, these are what you call remix production plaques. Okay. Uh, they're not. They're not um, the actual record plaques. Um, these are records that the companies send in from Columbia to Sony, all the other, um, you know, whatever companies, Universal. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we remix the vocals, the acapellas. They send Got us it. acapellas. And then we take them and, and, and make new records out of them. Um, what I'm proud of is that I've learned, I learned the art early on of how to listen to acapellas and play. Cause I'm, you know, you have to be a piano player to play uh, mm -hmm. around vocals. And then like for the remixes that we, we were able to create, um, we had to always, I had to always come in and arrange vocals, you know, okay. I mean, arrange piano, piano around the vocal to mm -hmm. make it feel really good, you know? Gotcha. And you've mm -hmm. done that. Now, I want to ask in the very beginning, what got you into music? Was it you in high school? Was there parents taking you to band practice and all this good stuff? What led you to music? Uh, I think early on, my uncles, I, it wasn't anything planned or said, I'm early, I want to be a musician or this is something, my career path I want to take. Really? I wanted to, yeah, I wanted to do like vocational arts, uh, automotive, computer, things like that. Okay. And... I didn't I didn't know anything about music until well playing until actually high school I would say um I did have a, a band when we were growing up my my brothers and cousins and I we all had a little you know family band um uh, but even then I didn't think that okay this is the next step to stardom I just we were just kids you know I, it didn't hit me until probably high school that um I got my band scholarship you know There you go and I, absolutely this is School, uh, university band, plucked for trombone. Okay, so how many instruments do you play, Rob? Um, four or five. I'm a brass <laughs> player. <laughs> I like how nonchalant you are about being multi-talented. You know, man, only four or five. The normal amount. <laughs> well, well, guess, well, guitar and piano are, are my are my strong points. Okay, and then trombone. Trombone is third, and then like everything else, the trumpet. Um, I can play a little, you know, sousaphone and things like that, but, um, percussion, I like, I can't okay. play drums, but I can play percussion. So, okay. Yeah. My instruments and, and hey. upright bass. Bro, there's no, <laughs> there's no question why you so, uh, award winning, man. Cause you do it all, man. You are amazing at what you do. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you're quite, it. Appreciate you're you. quite welcome. Now being in the industry that you do music and you do music for films, uh, who are you most influenced by in the industry? Uh, there's a composer that I'm really, really, uh, I might have to look up to is Brian Tyler and it's two Brian okay. Tyler and, um, uh, uh, um, Terrence Blanchett. You probably okay. heard of Terrence Blanchett music through, uh, Spike Lee movies. Yes, sir. So, um, and Brian Tyler does like all the fast and furious stuff. He just did the new Mario brothers, uh, the Ninja Turtles movie. Um, I like his style. There you, you go. Know, I like his style of play. I like the way he arranges. Um, I haven't had a chance to do big action movies, but I'm prepared. <laughs> there you go. You, just in case, man. There you go. Now, will you explain then, to the audience at home uh, watching right now what's the differences between doing production and scoring and composing? Um, well, production, it's pretty much under the same umbrella as all, all production. But um, when you're talking about scoring um, to film, if you want to mm -hmm. just take it that route, um, you have to arrange around characters. That's all. That's pretty much what I do all day. It's listen to watch characters on film and decide what they need for uh, the scene. Um, and that's all cu culminating in production. So that's all under the same umbrella uh -huh. of, of getting of getting it done. So you have to know quick what the what the characters need. You mm -hmm. have to know sound. You have to know 
what sound. So once you get that done, then you're fine. You know. There you go. But music is so important, like I said at the beginning of this interview, because what you guys do is you set the tone and the mood of that scene. Like there's certain music you'll hear in iconic films that you know, uh, oh, I need to be scared right now. I would tell you growing up for me, I didn't go to the beach for a long time because that music was in the back of my head every time I got in the water. Y'all know what I'm talking about that. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. And that's exactly what you guys do. That's when you're successful. When you can invoke emotion uh, for people to feel something when that music comes on, that's when you know you're on the right track. Well, you know, James, I um, when I give my examples, that's the example that I give. I give the Charles example. Do you? <laughs> I said, what, what do you do? I said, well, I'm a composer. I score. What, what is that? I said, you ever seen Jaws? <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's like, oh, I get it now, bro. And, I'm going to tell you, bro, I just learned to swim I'm, last week. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad you did, man, because you're going to need it with the theme song. <laughs> <laughs> I looked a little ridiculous with my little floaties, but hey, man, I was out there. <laughs> no, come on. Come on, let's get it. All right. Let's we'll be right back. We're going to take a short break. When we get back, we're going to consider our, uh, continue our conversation with Mr. Rob Diggy. All right. Right back.